So we are headed out to get headed out to get the hubby. Let's see here. This down is ass. Alright, mama. Okay. Let's see. Okay. We are headed out to get. You guys can't see this. Oh, well, I guess they didn't want to give me any problems. Right now, because okay, so y'all, the struggle is real. Happy New Year! It is January 5th. I know this is so dark, you guys, and you're going like, I can't see anything. So, I didn't know if I should have the camera facing me or what, but. Yeah, I just wanted to do, it's not even focusing, yeah. Quick video, I'm actually riding in the truck. This truck has no lights, and it's my mom's truck. I'm on my way to go pick up the hubby from work. They got a game, I don't know if you guys see this light, but I think it's like a junior varsity game going on over there and they are like jamming oh no it's soccer it's soccer it's a soccer game oh yeah the beginning of the year so there's no football but that's high school over there and they're having a soccer game but yep i'm on my way to go get the hubby and i just felt like vlogging it i know i'm in the dark so I can understand if you don't want to watch this video through and all these cars keep coming. But, um, and I know my husband's going to call me while I'm vlogging on my phone. But, y'all, I just want to keep it real, like, 100%. It's a new year, and I'm just tired. Like, I was on the phone with my husband earlier, and I told him, I'm just like, I am tired of just thinking about the life that I want to live. And I'm ready to start living this life, like... I can feel it like I'm being pushed into something like God is trying to just do something for me and when I tell y'all the last couple of days has been so stressful like yesterday was like beyond stressful for me beyond stressful for me like oh gosh I had to fight to get to church last night and I've been having like this slight headache but I'm not claiming it because see last year emotionally i would have just shut down i would have just shut down by now and i've just like i would have been just like oh whatever okay yeah i'm just gonna and not talk to anybody not do anything but now i'm more aware and i'm learning to deal with my what i'm feeling and kind of ask questions on why i'm feeling this way and stuff like that so i got a life that i want to live and goals to accomplish like by my 30th birthday it's crazy because i read an instagram post that i posted last year i think this time and it was like i don't want to be in my 30s like i want to something about being in i something about being stable in your 30s it's like i want to be in my 30s looking 20 but something something so pretty much it was saying but you know what life doesn't go the way that you think it should go like i'm about to be 30 years old in march and life did not it definitely did not go like the way i would have liked for it to go by the time i was reaching 30 but there is absolutely no regrets like no regrets at all why because even though my 20s were like the toughest thing ever man the police really been out lately you guys like in these like unmarked cars look at that in a sonata and he has a woman pulled over on a bike 
but anywho anywho I am just like tired and even though my life is nowhere near I thought you know where I thought it would be by the time I turned 30 I have learned so much from my 20s and I have I, when I tell y'all I'm ready to ex exit my 20s with grace like I might not have nothing that I want but hey it's all by the grace of God and his mercy that he has even seen me this far and if it's his will when my 30th birthday hit ooh, yes like I'm gonna praise God like never before because a lot of people don't make it so even though I've been through a lot even just in the last three months of last year, even though I've been through a lot, like a lot of people did not make it this far. Didn't even make it five days into the new year. And here I am and I'm blessed. So as a mom and as a wife and just as a business woman, like I am just going to embrace who I am. Like I'm gonna embrace like my creativity, my ideas, my visions, everything that God is giving me. I'm gonna stop doing things that don't bring me peace like things that cause chaos that things just take me out of crystals spiritual realm i guess because i don't want things that are gonna bring me you know I'm, i know i'm gonna deal with pain but i don't want things that are gonna like bring me um take me out of my alignment i should say because this year my word for the year is freedom but that that word freedom is so broad for me like it entails like i just want to seek direction i want to live on purpose i want to know who i I'm, I'm asking god every day who am i like you know like you know the question you know is it going to be me, Lord, or am I going to allow you to use someone else? Like, I don't want to face the consequences of not living my purpose. Like, that's where I am right now. Like, I am so focused on living my life for God. Like, because I know what my what that life entails for me. And it is going to be the bomb. Like, for real. I know it's going to be the bomb.com. So, okay, okay, with these cars, like, especially that Camry, like, they are driving ridiculous just to go right here and slow down and turn left. Like, people drive crazy, y'all. Like, they're in such a rush. But, like, my life is so focused right now. Like, it's it's lit. Like, I. <laughs> I'm gonna be lit like no more excuses no more of the excuses oh I got kids I can't do this because I have kids or oh I'm married I can't do this because I'm married or oh what are they gonna think or what is he gonna think or what is she gonna think what are my parents gonna think like no more of that it's just gonna be what does God think like God how do you feel about this God, what do you want me to do? God, what do you think I should do? God, I need some advice. God, I need some tips. God, you know my problems right now. You know I need you. I, I yeah, that's my life right now. And I, in all honesty, right now where I am in life, um, I have no car. I have no money. And I mean, if I do say that I have money, it's my husband's money because he's the only one that works. And his job, I mean, it barely gets us by. I'm, we're living in the house with my parents. We lost our car last year in um, in June. We lost our car. I was about seven months pregnant at that time in my parents' house. Um, been with living in my parents house for a year and a half and there's no peace like my children are out of order my marriage was out of order like my life was out of order and now I know God is telling me like it's time for me to move like for my spiritual well-being it is time for me to go like when I tell y'all lessons learned from being in the house with my parents this long lessons learned like for real for real and I'm just keeping it 100 because I want to, I want to, I want to have this video because, and just to look back on it for me, because this time next year, January, 2018, I will not be where I am right now. I'm telling y'all, like, I'm going to be so connected. I am going to be just, 
connected with myself, like connected with God, connected with people, resources, like, <sighs> yes. Like I'm gonna start manifesting things that I've always wanted in my life. My faith is gonna be so strong. Like I'm my bit like visualizing out of this world. Like ugh, I got three vision boards, y'all. I have a spiritual vision board, I have a business vision board, and I have a personal vision board. And want manifestation, like no excuse. Oh well, if I don't have the money right now, as long as I work and I do, I'm gonna write. I'm gonna put my books out. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks, because because it's like God is gonna send those people or put my work in front of people that are that needs what I have. But if I sit back on it and keep making excuses and trying to say, Oh God, this, but this guy, I know God, but I can't do this. Where is that gonna put me? Like, where is that gonna put me? And it's crazy because in Bible study last night, we had like a panel with the three most powerful women in the church, love them to death. And it was about dealing with your emotions, anger, fear, jealousy, um, envy, bitterness, all those types of emotions and how it can get in the way of your destiny. And I will honestly say for the past 10 years, nine years I don't know ten years I want to say I left it last in 2016 though but the past my all of my 20s I have dealt with my life emotionally I have dealt with my life emotionally and now that I'm reflecting and reflecting in a good way like I don't want to go back their way I am like Oh gosh, your emotions, your emotions can kill you. Your emotions can literally kill you. Like I've de I dealt with so much like physically, mentally, like with my marriage and just all back, like smoking, drinking, like it was just, you know, and it got to the point you guys, like I was all against smoking weed, but I did it last year. Like I was at that point in my life where I felt like that was the relief for me. So, yeah, your emotions can, like, it can do it to you. <laughs> it can really do it to you, like, seriously. So, my emotions had always gotten in the way. Pride, ego, oh, I can't do this, comparison, all of that stuff had gotten in the way of me living the life that God was showing me all throughout my 20s like not even that God was showing me who I was supposed to be from when I was in like high school that's when he started showing me who I was and oh, I wonder what we're about to do I'm so hungry God had been showing me because that's when I started writing I started writing in like seriously writing in high school I used to write like short stories and songs and I sing and God is bringing it all back to me and that's how I know 2017 oh my gosh y'all I'm about to travel my family is about to be good my marriage is about to be who my marriage is about to be like what like even thinking about it I'm like where my husband at right now because we need to like you know <laughs> but my marriage is about to be on point like when I tell y'all I am all for God, like I am all for his image. And you know we are made in his image. And now my mindset is, is this the way Jesus would handle this? Or is this what Jesus was doing? Is You know, Jesus had to, he had to push through it all. And that's what we're meant to do. Like life is not supposed to be easy. And you're not supposed to give up easy either. You're supposed to push through every emotion that you're feeling. And you're supposed to keep going until you manifest the things that you want. It's not supposed to be easy. And see, my problem was my emotions were telling me all types of things. And that's why I am right now. So this is how I know as I enter into another season of my life in my 30s, it, this is how I know it's going to be so different just because of the way I approach things. And yes... There are going to be things thrown at you left and right because you're trying to live life right and in God's image. And I'm 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 ready. I'm ready. 
like right now my head it, it's been this one spot inside of my like one side of my head it goes from like my jaw to the front like my eyes my whole left side of my face and I'm gonna rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus well wow, that's awareness because you know, I try to feel like, oh, I'm... O and you know what? Honestly, I never had the feeling of, I'm overwhelmed. I'm going to quit. I can't do this. I'm going to quit. This is too much. I'm going to quit. Like, I asked God to kill the quitter in me. And I can honestly say these last two days, I haven't given up on everything that I've been pursuing. Even though it seemed like, oh gosh, my time finna run out, y'all. Ain't that something? It was finna get good, too. Ugh. 